Alright, so in this video, we are playing with getter and setter and angular and this one here is a subject 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 I'll just call this subject and this one is subject and this one is subject here okay and then this subject here uh, first we have a reactive form here and this is the reactive form and then on init uh, we get the value changes uh, value changes is an observable and we subscribe to that and if the form changes then whatever the value of the name here of the form will be um, uh, set into this subject here so it go here and this is a subject service so this is the subject service this is a behavior subject with an initial um, initial value of test okay so how it looks like here is like this oh, is it running no this is not running okay so serve okay hold on Okay, so it's now done. Subject here, see here, this is the test. And this is the initial value of this one here, the subject, so behavior subject. And if we type here in the form field, in the text input, hello world. So it adds that into, it set that into this subject here okay so I'm not sure what this pattern is for but I just saw this and I just need to study this pattern you can you can achieve this functionality with other just simply having a text here like for example just put the public here a simple str string and then whatever the value here just put it here and the name okay and then just add that simple str here all right here and we set this to yellow green this one should be black okay here see uh, it's the same so I'm not sure what's the deal with this one yet so why do we have to put it in a subject and why do I have to put it on a getter and a setter here? Uh, just um, I don't know. Uh, just because you can do it doesn't mean you need to do it. All right, cool. Thanks. Bye.